my family was taking a trip and we were headed to India to live there for a year. I was 10 years old, I think, and we flew into Dublin to spend a week and we were at the airport and I bought a copy of Time Out and saw that Martin was playing that night. And at that point, I was pretty obsessed with Martin's first record that had come out. So I convinced my parents to take me to see the show. And, and I remember it being just uh, kind of the most musically transporting experience I had had. I was just, uh, I was astonished, really, really astonished. And we didn't have an itinerary for our week in Dublin. Martin was on tour, so my parents agreed to just follow him around the country. We just saw him play every night for six or seven nights. And I think by the third one, he had noticed this family being there every night and this 10-year-old boy kind of grinning absurdly in the front row, <laughs> looking far too excited. And so he came and introduced himself to me. And so that was how I first met Martin. The next year I had gotten in touch with his manager asking if he would ever play a concert in Vermont. And his manager uh, said, well, yes, but we don't know a hall or we don't know a promoter. And I think thought that I was a promoter. Uh, and so, so I decided to put on a concert and found a hall and uh, promoted it. And I think, I think she didn't realize that I was an 11 or 12 year old until two weeks before when we actually talked on the phone. Um, but the concert actually was a success, and Martin came and stayed at my house that weekend, and we played some together. So that, and I, he hadn't realized that it was the same kid who had been in Ireland until he actually arrived in Vermont. And he's like, oh, you, you again, my stalker. Mm -hmm. 